Hey, what is up? Tony here. It's the Driven Dad. Welcome back to the channel. Today it's going to be another update for um, the final totals for last week. Um, so last week it was $2,316.38 all Uber. Um, 76 and a half hours, 133 trips. Uh, going through some of the numbers. Um, my fares were down versus last week. I had a lot more airport trips and a little bit less uh, Uber Eats. So 869 in fares versus 1300 in fares. But my tips last week were 530 and my tips this week were 653. Uh, my promotions, I got more promotions this promotion money this week. So those airport trips made a big difference. Um, if we go over here to grid wise, a dollar sixty three per mile about um, last week. So let's head back over here. So Monday, I ended up obviously a 255.67 and that was with just under 11 hours Tuesday 9 hours 186 Wednesday 277.47 for just about 10 hours uh, 11 and a half hours on Thursday to get that bonus um, only got the first level of the bonus and that was 549.09 and then um, 12 hours, um, like 12 and a half hours for only 281. Um, then 12 hours for 218 on Saturday. Then Sunday, 547.64 for 10 hours and 20 minutes. Now, I probably could, it's kind of a, a balance act here um, with it's kind of a balancing act for doing only uber I was looking back at some of the numbers from previous weeks where I didn't go for uber bonuses and you know I I am able to average $30 an hour um, not going for the uber bonuses um, the thing is after this month or next month definitely by february my plan is to be on a schedule where i can't really utilize the dinner hour as much um during the week i'm still planning on the weekends doing the um, current strategy that i have probably mainly doing just uber on the weekends but during the week i'm gonna be trying to utilize whatever the best promos are between Uber and Lyft and um, not really worrying about food delivery and then uh, my wife she's gonna probably be doing a few days maybe the weekend um, as well to um, continue building up some emergency funds so that way we don't run out in case we have some come up like COVID, but um, you never know when you're not gonna be able to be at work. So wanna have a better plan of action for that. So just wanted to go over a little bit of m my current strategy for hitting 2000. Looks like definitely have to plan for at least 65 to 75 hours. I know that's a big window of time. That's an extra 10 hours in there. So, um, 65 to 75 hours, as well as I have been um, only using Uber based on their promos. Uh, we'll have to see what the promo is for next week, but January, I don't expect the promos to be as high. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to look at Lyft and their streak bonuses and stuff and see how things are going there. Um, but I definitely 
see better utilization of my dollars per hour when I'm doing ride share in the morning through the afternoon and definitely better money per hour on dinner and the weekend dinner for sure with Uber Eats um, yesterday I know this isn't far my strategy from last week but yesterday I did end up turning on some DoorDash and um, mixing it in there with Uber ended up with like $57 on DoorDash for the dinner rush and maybe another $30 on Uber for dinner but um, I try to plan where I'm able to do 20 trips per day now Uber Eats helps boost up the trip count um, but you got to be careful doing too much Uber Eats if you plan on getting these Uber promos because they will switch you off of them into just um, having um, Uber Eats promos and they're not very good here in Denver I don't know about anywhere else but it's just a boost and it's only on Uber Eats so um, I don't plan on doing only Uber Eats anymore I know that was a strategy I was doing um, where I did mainly Uber Eats and I was able to hit 2,000 but um, can't can't do that with the way that they have um, the algorithm looking for the right share versus Uber Eats balance Uh, some other strategies for uh, maximizing your time out here. I've been averaging at least $30 an hour once it's all said and done with the bonuses dropped in. Um, just when you're doing food delivery, my goal is to be at about $2 per mile for, um, for the DoorDash orders and the Uber and the Grubhub. Um, obviously there's going to be some orders that are way bigger than that. Um, depending on how profitable it may be, I might take a risk on some of the DoorDash ones, um, not being quite $2, but I definitely don't like to go and take a risk on anything that's going to be more or less than a dollar per mile. Um, how I gauge the risk factor on that is uh, mainly fast food restaurants I'm not going to take risks on. Um, sometimes you get surprised there, but not very common. Um, stuff like Chipotle and Panda Express and that um, fast casual dining, I guess is what it's called. I uh, will take a risk based on how many item counts I see in there. Um, and then that uh, not top tier but the top tier that you mostly see on the food delivery apps is like pf chang's Ma magiano's like uh, most of the sushi places some of the indian restaurants like that you get to know around your area um some of the sit down places like chilies and really depends on the part of town you're in um, cheesecake factory mine is hit or miss on being ready um, and then there's all they also forget to put a lot of stuff in there into their um, packaging so a lot of their orders are just one item because they forgot and they have to send it out with a driver and those ones don't usually have another tip on them so gotta be careful with cheesecake <laughs> But basically, those are the sit-down restaurants with higher ticket items is what you're looking for. And uh, for taking risks on DoorDash and even Uber with Grubhub, they're pretty much transparent with most of the app. Um, so, yeah, those are some of the strategies. I can get into a little bit more details uh, on those at a different time. But I just wanted to get another video posted out there for you all. Uh, showing that consistently I'm able to hit $2,000 uh, at least in the month of December. This week is going to be tough. Um, 
already started off pretty slow and um to be honest i am really looking forward to getting a break um on thursday friday or not thursday on friday saturday and possibly sunday so um plan your schedule so that you can get enough rest to not burn yourself out so i hope everybody liked this video if you did get any good information out of this if you have any questions leave a comment below please subscribe um, if you like my content also i do appreciate everybody who has been subscribing um, since the last video i know i've went up a few subscriptions as well as um, over the past couple of months i've gained uh, almost 80 subscriptions so I appreciate everybody who has subscribed to my channel um, really want to try to help people out if you have any questions um, I will be doing a review on this Tesla uh, video about how the Tesla program that I'm part of works if you're in the Denver area and you're interested um, leave a comment as well for that and um, just hope everybody has a great day and remember to stay driven.